I'm going to quickly show you how you can set up a template so that every time you start Excel, your default settings are there ready for you. Let's go. So I'll show you the tip for merging and for making the negatives turn red with brackets. And then I'll show you how you can quickly make this the default for every time Excel opens in the future. Okay, so merging cells. Uh, it's an evil thing. You highlight something here, you merge, you then do the same thing for Feb, you then do the same thing for March. Okay, it looks nice, but then as soon as you want to just highlight the cost, oh, you can't, oh, you might, you just, it's really annoying. You copy paste and it says um, destination cells do not match, and it's all this awful stuff. So we don't do that. What you do is you highlight where you would normally merge, right click, Format cells, control one if you're a keyboard person, alignment, and it is center across selection. And there we go, individual cells, awesome. However, it's a bit of a pain, it's a lot of clicks. There is no option here, unfortunately, one day maybe, but we can set this up. So all we do is we do that center across selection once, go and click on one of the cells that has that formatting, Come up here to your cell styles, new cell style. Make sure the only one that's ticked is the alignment. Call this something like good merge or center cross and click OK. And there it is, it's there. OK, so how do we do the number formatting? Well, here's my numbers. If I want to format them and I click this comma, it's not great, it's just put a comma in, but it's still got the decimals. My negatives are still showing a minus, not brackets. Well, what I can do, this comma actually triggers this st cell style. So I'm gonna modify this comma cell style. Go for format, number, custom, get rid of everything in here, and here we go. So this is the format, hash, comma, hash, hash, zero, underscore, bracket, the underscore is, makes an invisible bracket, so the positives push across a little bit, so they line up nicely when the negatives have brackets around them. Semicolon, my negatives are gonna turn red and have brackets around them, hash, comma, hash, hash, zero, and then a semicolon, and then for any zeros, I'm gonna put a little dash. That's my formatting. Click OK and click OK. So there it is beautifully formatted. Let's just test that out over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, point nine, eight, and minus that. Okay, highlight these, go and click on the comma. Beautiful. Right, how do we make this our default going forward? So once you do save as, you need to change the file name to book. Now make sure this file doesn't have anything else in it. Okay, it's just those two settings or whatever other default settings you'd like. And then once it's called book, change this to Excel TX. Okay, that's an Excel template file. When you do that, this defaults you to your templates. That's not where you save it. You need to save it here to this Excel start folder. Now I recommend sort of searching for that. It's normally under um, users, under your C drive uses your name, app data. Once you've done that and it's there, you can then navigate to that folder and save book.xltx. I've already got one here. Let's save over the top of it. Okay, so this is the path again. So now you just need to close this file down. And then I just start up Excel and those formatting options should now be built in. Because I didn't delete this sheet, this is now in my template file, but the important thing is this, center across selection is here, and minus one, two, three, point four, five. If I click my comma, it formats it. So I hope you found that useful. Please subscribe if you'd like to keep up to date. Uh, I love hearing your feedback, so please leave a comment and hit the like if you feel like it. Otherwise, we'll catch you later.